we want to welcome Ron Aran for his uh, and, and thank for your generosity, time, effort, and, and, tra and trust in the in the team of Ivory Press. Um, I want to thank him and his team for the collaboration with all of us to be able to develop this exhibition uh, that will be open until November for the Spanish public. Uh, Ron Aran is impossible to classify for good and for some people for bad. Uh, uh, he studied architecture, that is something that we can say. But uh, since the first moment of his career, he moved away and he, want to, he wanted to create his own, his own path, his own way to work with the materials, with the space, and, experiment, and constantly experiment with, uh, with uh, shapes and the functionality of all the objects that he began to create since the first one who uh, made him very well known, which was the, the chair Robert. He, with the years since the 80s in Covent Garden until today, he has become an iconic figure, um, a, a respect and a master among designers, artists, and also architects. And, uh, but he still maintained uh, his uh, uh, intelligent naivety, uh, curiosity, passion, and thirst for uh, for, the dis for discovering new ways to work with materials and, mm. and art. Mm? Okay. But we will talk about we'll it talk afterwards. About it. Uh, I want to introduce also Javier Mariscal, that um, perhaps in an, among the, 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 the Spanish public doesn't need any introduction. Um, he is, or he, he wishes to be. Um, no, and also he is a dibujante, a drawer, uh, who sometimes uh, does design, who sometimes uh, uh, do some uh, art pieces and moves be move between different kinds of uh, disciplines. He works mainly in Barcelona, but his work is known all over the world. Uh, he's a constant drawer. Yesterday night, he did several portraits of Ron, uh, some of them right now. And right now, you will see him constantly in in frantic activity, drawing and drawing and drawing. So I don't want to introduce him uh, in another way than in as a drawer. And Francisco Mangano. Francisco Magado is a professor, is professor in, in the School of Architecture in the University of Navarra and also in the CAL School of Design in Lausanne and in Cornell. And uh, he also has created the, Fundens, the Fundación Arquitectura y Sociedad and is a, a foundation to promote the interaction between architecture and other creative uh, disciplines. He has uh, projects all over, and we were talking about several now in Switzerland, in Spain, and in other countries. Um, the three participants in the table are friends, but also disagree in a lot of ways, and, uh, uh, in the way to confront disciplines. So, I will begin with a very simple question, Rosh. Right. How you understand design, art, and architecture? You move between the three constantly. You don't accept limits between disciplines. And I would like that you express and stress your manifesto about it. First of all, I don't have any manifesto. <laughs> I know that you were going to like do that. Manifesto. Well, I always drew ever since I was uh, a child. Uh, my mother was an artist, a painter, and every time I made a drawing, she said, ooh, he'll be a great architect. 
she was afraid that I might want to become an artist. <laughs> and uh, somehow I studied architecture. I didn't plan to at all, but I found myself for some reason in the queue for applicants at DIA and everyone was waiting with big portfolios and prepared themselves and I came with my 6B pencil and when they asked me, can we see your portfolio? I said, I don't have any, but I have my pencil here. And then somehow they had the imagination to punish me and, and get me on the course. I did when I graduated. You know, when you graduate, it's very exciting. The AA, the school where I studied, at the time that there was no, no buildings happening in London or in England, uh, there was lots of talk about paper architecture, conceptual architecture. I mean, building was the last thing you wanted to do. It was all about ideas and drawings that suited me. When I graduated, I had an honest attempt to get employed and, and work for an architectural firm. It didn't take me very long to find out that I'm not cut to work for other people, that it's very difficult to work for other people, especially after lunch. So one lunchtime I didn't come back and I went to a scrapyard, I did the roboture and then I was sucked into the world of design. Uh, I, don't have, I didn't have any plan to, uh, to be a furniture designer or to be a designer or to be anything. I was more interested in my guitar and my records than in what I'm doing now. Um, and I but started... you admire immensely Klaus, Klaus Oderberg. Yeah, and I mean... Follow up the... I think you read something that said that he is, yeah, I was very... You told me yesterday. I, yes, I, I was very jealous of, of the drawings of Klaus Oldenberg and I tried to copy them. I mean, like, as everyone else did. Uh, and, uh, well, him and the whole, you know, everyone is entrapped in the time and place they grew up. And I'm a 60s child and when I looked around there was all sorts of things, pop art included, and Oldenburg was, of course, great. And I could do that. I could draw and I could make things like that. And um, so I was, I read in some, a new magazine in London called Blueprint that by some, someone called Rolf Felbaum from Vit, the owner of Vitra, that I'm, one of the most designers to come from London, and I didn't at the time know that I'm a designer. So I, I never had a plan. I never thought that I have to decide what I'm going to do, whether it's architecture. And still you don't decide what you are I still going don't to do. have a plan, but I, I have a schedule from Ivory Press and tell me what to do. Anyway, um, so you know, when, when you study architecture, you do, you design the world, you do museums, you do opera building, but the reality is that when you graduate, you don't do anything until someone asks you to do something. It's but the people now uh, ask you to do buildings, and perhaps uh, uh, Francisco Mangado, uh, we were talking before, that wanted to ask you, related uh, with... Yeah, yes, I, I mean, uh, thanks for being here. Uh, no, the question, I, I don't know if you're speaking about the main subject of this uh, table. Uh, I think that is interesting to speak. And, and also, I, I want to assume that uh, I, I would like just to provoke a discussion in order to make it funnier, no, the, the, the table. So I think that seeing this uh, exhibition that for me is very, I, ha I have to recognize that it's very attractive because it's completely encouraging, so it's very daring. I mean, I appreciate the kind of things that I will never, I will never, I will never do. Oh, I will never dare uh, to assume this. But uh, speaking as about an architect. as an architect, as an architect, exactly. Be precisely because I believe nowadays it's true that precisely because the the world, the publication, the world of communication has created this idea, in my opinion, that is quite superficial. That in fact especially architecture, or just design, or just uh, landscape, or just uh, even uh, making, as is your case, very, these very suggestive uh, objects, uh, 
uh, that I think you call just object for the salon. I mean, it's the, the same thing, but I, I sincerely believe that there are some limits and there are some differences. Uh, obviously, I mean, uh, I repeat, the, 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 the world has created this situation, this, this idea. At, at the end, what happens is that people appreciate basically just yes, the object and the different elements just yes, because, because of the image. But at the end, I think that there are really uh, important differences. No? Uh, yesterday. Could you, could you tell to front end? No, I'm just trying to understand. I, I think everyone agrees with you that there are good buildings and bad buildings. Yes, absolutely. And you can, you can judge it from all sorts of directions. Look is one of them, the way they operate, the way... No, but I mean, yesterday, trying to remember, for instance, the architect, majority of the architect during the 20th century, they have, many of the architects, they have made designs. No, many, if you analyze all the most important architects... I, I can say more than that, that in Italy, uh, we have... We had lots of maestri of, desi of design. Mm -hmm. All of them trained as architects. Yes, yes. All yes. of them, and you can extend yes, yes, it. Yes, I agree, to, I agree, yeah. absolutely. And they disappeared from Italy. There's no Italian, yes. maybe I'm doing, not doing justice to some young, brilliant... But, but what uh, happened is that in Italy has well, disappeared they, they, the I think my theory is that uh, it, they stopped coming, the maestri, because they started teaching design. Yeah. They, and, uh, and people went to, the, to study in the Domus Academy and, you yes. know, and I think that the architects, I mean... No but, they, but, no, but pay attention to one question. If you analyze, for instance, a, a design made by uh, Mies van der Rohe, you identify immediately that is the, the same use of materials, many of the concerns are similar, the idea of understanding the structure is similar, but at the end, the, the, the piece is completely different than the architecture. Oh, I, mean, exactly happened, I, mean, no. I don't think anyone doesn't agree that the building is different than a chair. No, no, absolutely. So but, I, but even I mean that this idea that you have expressed of telling that at the end everything is the same world, I, I think that is not true. There are common relationships. I, I don't there, are, there are common relationships. I, I like it. It's becoming an yeah, argument. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but I think, that, I think that precisely nowadays we have to recognize some differences. For instance, so this objectual approach that is here, but you are thinking about, when this is transforming architecture at the end, what happened is that, uh, I mean, uh, our probably architecture is losing many of the fe features, no? So I mean that uh, many of the most important elements that, did, that, that are in architecture is the, the relationship with the site, the, the, another completely different I think that that is relationship with the technology, with the materials, the use material. I think that is, there are, uh, it's true that there are some uh, common words, it could be some general common interest, but at the end there are very huge differences. So this approach to the architecture, no, I want... What is your opinion about... No, no. I, I, well, I, I have to confess, I, I don't understand what the point is. The point is that, being very critical, that when all of this kind of work is transforming architecture, I think that you are no losing... One is, no one is transforming anything to anything. I, but, no I, one no. transforms, no, no one no. transforms... In my, opinion, in my opinion, many of the Lazy world... opinion, because... because <laughs> my no, opinion because is that many of the works, your architecture works, for instance, are coming more from... The, are, are considered more as a, a furniture designers than buildings. Absolutely, what I absolutely wrong. I no, mean, no, probably, no, but no, I don't want that you convince me. No, but, sorry? I don't want that you try to explain that I am wrong. I can, I can, I can convince you. I mean, like, look, I, I didn't do many buildings, but uh, I know the difference between doing a building and be between doing an ashtray. Yes, I, I imagine. Although, I mean, although, yeah, anyway. And uh, it is, there is a lot of common things uh, with people's approach. I mean, I do have my handwriting, probably, and I do have my taste, probably, and, I, and I'll, but I'll, I know that a building has to, first of all, with a building, with a building you negotiate with lots of people. Absolutely. You know, there's a lot of, it's not like, I can do an ashtray without asking, and without getting a planning permission for an ashtray. But a building, I have to discuss, I have to convince, I have to sell it, I have to change it, I have to conform to budget, to the, and also, you mentioned in passing, like, um, like a building in the context of, of its That's environment. Sometimes you might decide to do an autistic building, a building that ignores the environment, and it's still, 
a good building. I mean, it's not, what I'm trying to say is that uh, there's no real rules and you have the freedom to, to operate and to do. I think the problem is not with my architecture. The problem is with my sort of success with objects or with other things. Uh, I'm very happy that uh, one of the few buildings I built, can I, can I show some? Yeah. La información Pero gráfica. Mientras tanto, eh, eh, Xavi Mariscal puede dar su opinión sobre la discusión entre Mangado y Ara. Eh, de entrada, no, no tengo ni idea de arquitectura y, y no he entendido nada de lo que decían. Incluso si lo hubieran dicho en italiano, en francés o en portugués o en catalán o en español, que son las lenguas que sé hablar. Ragazzi, ma che cosa? Dobbiamo parlare della grande invenzione di questo personaggio. Eh, perché perché se si, si c'è alguna cosa che realmente a questo signor che teniamo qui davanti eh, possiamo calificarlo? Es... So, yeah, I cannot go to a translation. Experimental. È eh, alguien che continuamente. He won't change. He won't change the world. Cántale la canción de John Lennon, vale. I don't understand what you said, but I'm sure it was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean, this this is a, a museum where I have. I'm doing a bit of plugging here because I have a show in that museum called In Reverse. Uh, Can you explain this museum? Is the museum? Yeah, the of museum of design in it's very outside, close in Tel Aviv, outside in Tel Aviv. Yeah, you want to talk about it? No, no. Okay. But, uh, anyway, so and again, it is uh, the first when I looked at the site plan, I wanted to to make it talk to the environment. Then I thought the environment is horrible, terrible. I want to do the reverse. I want to, to do an, a, a, you know. Is it kind of answer, of course? It is. You are absolutely right. So. Um, you know, in uh, clients, in the first renderings, uh, I had the gradation of the color, the tone of the curtain, and later I discovered that do what you do after two years, the curtain looks like like dark chocolate. But, but and, this, hang on, hang on. To the, 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 let me to make a critic. Let me to, no, more than, than a critic to discuss about this. No, no, return to no, return to this one. This, no, no, this, no, not this one, the other one. Which? No, no, the, the second one that is here. Yeah. This one. Here, I mean, you have designed everything. Yes. So, in my opinion, I mean, in my, it's, it's, I, I, man, I want to discuss about this because I repeat that I appreciate a, a lot. When you say the experimentation, I, I, that's, everything is fantastic, but don't lose in general reflection. Experimentation is fantastic. Looking for new materials is fantastic. I agree with this. Uh, looking for new forms is fantastic. Being encouraging, is, everything is fantastic. But here, for instance, at the end, what happens is that we have a volume, a very, a very normal. A let very, me let very, me very explain very to you. I mean, unless you are a helicopter pilot, you'll never see it from this direction. Okay, <laughs> because uh, and and uh, let me but tell wrong, you. Look, wrong. hang on. Let but me speak. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me let me make the question. No, let, let me make the ah, question. Okay, I'll wait. Okay, I mean, I hear, I see, just a building that is a very regular building that could be. A, a building made by any architect, probably. But at the end, what happens is that you have envelope with these very extraordinary, very uh, powerful forms. I, I accept this. But at the end, what happens is that you have superposed, which is, for instance, the relationship between all of this effort that you are making with this wonderful and very probably attractive shape from outside, which is the relationship, for instance, with the intelligence. Let me space. explain to you. Very good question. <laughs> very, very good question. The thing is that. Uh, the brief that I had, the strange brief from the cities, everyone was jealous of Bilbao. Everyone think that if only they have an iconic building, they'll become, it doesn't work like that. Uh, the brief was, can Chavi stop it? <laughs> that, it's because he wants to yeah, draw. If you, you can draw, but just. No, no, can no, you, you can yeah. okay, okay. I, I, want, I want to show. No, I, you, you talk in, you don't and I show you, you, pictures. You, um, can you control him? Because, anyway. Can you design us a building that will be proud to put in a postal stamp, which is a very bad. And the thing is, I love I love Bilbao, and I think I not every. I love, I love, sorry. I love Bilbao. I love Bilbao. Me too. Me too. I don't. Me too. We love Bilbao, right? Okay. 
<laughs> but it's not the most ideal place to to exhibit. Not you know because it has some problem. We're not here to talk about it. But what I wanted to do in what you've noticed is I wanted to provide uh, two big spaces that are uh, uh, friendly to any exhibition, any type of exhibitions, almost white cubes with slight difference. And uh, I wanted the envelope to not only give it the look, but also the structure. I wanted to do a museum that doesn't have a single column in it. Not, uh, no single column interferes with the space, which meant that uh, I was going to talk about, about the colors that we were forced to go to the Milan Polytechnic to research the tones of the, how we can inflict tones on Corten that will last for at least 10 years guarantee, more or less the color of Elena's hair, some of them. And uh, that was a very interesting uh, research. Uh, I said no columns and I uh, did a belly that, that, that held the uh, the structure and it was all, all had to be, this is for me like a, almost a ballet by Pina Bausch. All the plasterers, we had to do it in one day uh, so we don't get cracks. You know, we had to do this belly. This belly is the structure of the building and I love this dance, but I'll, it's long so I'll move on. And then there's a courtyard that has like a, a brisolet that to protect it from the hot uh, times of the season and day, and it's in a place where nine months out of the year you, can, you don't have to circulate indoors, you can go outside, so there's a circulation that is sort of in a, in a ramp, so you can go from one space to the other without going into lifts, internal staircase, and things like that. And let me see, I don't know what this is. Uh, this is about a month before it was finished. It's a guy with a study cam just uh, walking in. And I'll tell you a story that uh, in Israel, in every public building, the religious authorities force you to put uh, what they call the mezuzah, which is for me pagan, but anyway. So the rabbis came before the, before the opening to find a place and I said, look, if you do that, you're going to spoil the whole concept of the building. This building doesn't have a door, doesn't have a place where you know, now I'm inside and I was outside. And the rabbi looks at me and said, you're right, and they walked away. It's the only public building without this pagan symbol in it. And um, there's uh, one, one room with uh, natural daylight, and it's done by having the structure, uh, the T's, uh, one like that, one inverse, one. So the structure is the natural daylight system. Uh, we can see like one exhibition there. Uh, it did become an icon when, when EasyJet celebrated the 15th birthday. They, uh, they used icons from different countries they fly to. And there's the gondola, the Swiss knife, and the London cab. And so the building had a function, is working. Yes. You, you, took, uh, you took in account the surroundings in order to make it an autistic building and use one yeah. of your drawing design for it. And, and but um, you think, no, I, I mean, a part of the judgment so of the it's, building. I, no, no, I really, no, apo I really yes. apologize. Yes. I really I'm not making yet. I really what? apologize. I don't, if I don't like to judge because it, unless it publicly. I mean, because also I think that the images that we have seen are very exciting. Undoubtedly, this walk has been very attractive, very you know, encouraging, especially. But the, the, and also the, the, the inside the space. But the question is, more than a critic, that is not a critic because I repeat, I wish I could have this kind of, of uh, creativity, we could say. No? Perhaps what happened is that architecture, or at least some kind of understanding architecture, established more limits. Limits, okay, the creativity, the capacity for creating, for investigating, has not to be with the limits. I mean, that doesn't matter the number of limits that you have in architecture. Always architecture is completely open to experiment, always. I mean, there are another kind of limits. 
uh, buy it or, uh, or a relationship with the context that will be uh, just uh, uh, very suggesting, very you, fruitful. You are talking about conceptual you are limits. Conceptually, exactly. Uh, so, I mean that... that uh, uh, Ron doesn't accept and, and, and you think... Uh, that but more than... No, no, but no, 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 no conceptual limits, no. Precisely what I think that conceptually there are not limits. But what happened at the, at the end, there are some real limits in architecture that, in my opinion, precisely, encourage the possibility of having a kind of freedom, freedom for working. So what happened is that, my question is, it is possible to develop a kind of, undoubtedly we could establish a kind of stylistic references in relationship, for instance, with the way of using the cure, this, uh, 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 we could say, you, I know, but I have read a lot about you, that you like to, to draw with pencil perfectly, but at the end what happened, also in terms of the use of the computer, of the, this kind of general uh, formal codes that has been in relationship just with the fluency, with the uh, cures. At the end, what happened is that it's true that you are speaking here, that you are looking for a specific space. But when I have seen this project, your approach has been very, very uh, 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 stylistic, very calligraphic. At the end, it seems that the most important is this envelope that is very nice. So the question is that, that the, for, me, for me, the question is, that this freedom that you are claiming for, and I, uh, this kind of, of nothing is established, we have to change everything. I appreciate as attitude and position, I appreciate a lot. But at the end what happened is that, per particularly in architecture, I think that there are some limits, and in my opinion these limits doesn't mean that you are completely quoted and you are limited for, wor for the, your work. So basically my question is, when you are not considering, you are thinking there are no rules, there are not anything is established. My opinion is that there are some rules ever. Even if, if, even if you want, you have rules. Even the material is a rule. Uh, architecture, you question, have a lot of rules. Your question to, uh... So at the end, there is a kind of, uh, uh, for instance, uh, this, this is a new building. This is a, this is a building that I think if you didn't, well, this is a building. The it's building can be seen in this new book that just arrived I, and uh, is concentrated in, in, yeah, in the is, building yeah. we are talking about and uh, can be seen afterwards in the bookstore of our press. Right, you asked if this is a building. No, this is a drawing of a building. This is the first sketch of a building and it is, it is a huge building. It's 160,000 square meters, like science fiction size especially for someone like me that don't do a lot of building, we do very little. And of course there's rules, there's gravity and the strength of material and there's lots of rules and regulation and we're not neurotic about it. We have to work within the constraints and the limitations and yet we, there's a lot we can do uh, in between. Uh, if I am allowed to talk about this building, I mean, the, the main idea for this building, which is a basically yet another skyscraper, I didn't want it to be a phallic skyscraper. I mean, the metaphor I used was more like an iceberg for internally. It's not something I'm going to write. I'm not going to write a manifesto saying all buildings should be icebergs. No way. And uh, the main idea here is to make a huge building with the smallest footprint at all to get to allow the, the client was very, very progressive and liberal. And instead of having the usual shopping mall at the foot of the building, he agrees to do a forest. He agrees to do a park, which is great. Instead of having all the plant on the roofs like you normally do, we put it on the floor, on the ground, which meant that the, the, top, the tops are free. And uh, it meant that the lobby can be very, uh, very exciting. And uh, you can, oops. Uh, this, is like, this is sketches. I apologize if the sketches remind you of the sketches for my furniture. It's the same pencil. But, but, but what I, am, I would like to come back is uh, that you work all your furniture, all your designs, and also all the buildings making sketches with the pencil. And I would like to ask you, the maestro, the maestro uh, Spanish maestro, Catalan maestro, uh, what is your... Um, Marciano. Uh, 
reaction? I'm from Marte. What is your reaction for Mars and for Barcelona? Um, from Marte. Uh, what is your reaction to, um, to Ron drawings? Because I insist to Ron and, and the uh, team of Ivory Press that we should show here your drawings. In the beginning, was a, 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 a few uh, at the, at the no, same time okay. appeared. Well, it's good. Why well, you don't leave it? Because meanwhile we are talking, the public could. Uh, well, the, the drawings uh, make Ronnie is completely different. What I do, he come from nothing, and from some ideas, he have inside of his brain. So, so quickly. He tried to find a rhythm with the, with the arm and with the pencil, to find with a paper, with, with this pencil, to find, to defend, make a definition of this idea he has inside. And drawing helps a lot to him to define this. And after, with this incredible team he has, and the, the new tools of the computers, they, they grow up and they, they make uh, these first uh, sketches completely sometimes uh, chaotic. Uh, they define, but uh, I think this is the typical method of the, all the architects. But the, the big difference is the, for example, <clears throat> your, your drawings, they are the typical drawings of the architect. Very simple, minimal, and always is very similar. T -t 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 -t, columns, t -t 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 -t, boom, boom. landscape, and you know, minimal, pa 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 pa. He know, he, he started with a real chaotic and, no, but and the, try to, but the are quite to similar. define it's this. Older, eh? And, 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 and only just uh, one second. Uh, but he's, uh, he's drawing here constantly, as you can see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. and, and different kind of... Yeah, he's uh, architect drawings. <coughs> Very nice. Architect form, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, j j just uh, one minute. I remember the first time I was there in Holon in the, this museum. And I think I understand so quickly what Ron Arad want to do is for one hand is a big identity, is a, is a, a, a little town very close to Tel Aviv. It's like Pozuelo um, or como se llama el barrio este empana, las empanadillas de the Mostoles, it's like Mostoles, okay? <coughs> and they needed <coughs> identity, all right. It's in the middle of nowhere and around there are very, very boring houses made not by architects, made by constructors. And uh, he, he make like an experience and it's really nice to come. It's little museum, it's no big one. And, and very human. And when you go inside, you have a wonderful experience to, to involve all, all these curves and a big patio. Patio is one of the best creation or invention of the ar architects. They try to control the sky, the, the clouds, the space. the space. It's like, wow. And for one moment, you see to, this, to, to the sky and you see how the clouds move or the stars or anything. And after, uh, and this is one function. Function is outside is a, a nice and a strong and what is this and, and a strong identity and also a wonderful experience. Very, very personal, very physical. Uh, experience and after they needed a good space for exhibition so must be very very neutral and he designed uh, I think three different but a big one uh, space a square 
completely um, with a, a very interesting technology with the Las Vegas, with the big... The beans. The beans. 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 Beans no quiere decir... Beans. Esto que se comen los ingleses horroroso con ketchup. Ok. Bueno, I, I never studied English in my life. I learned English in the beach. Do you want to dance with me, baby? I love your smile. All right. So, uh, is, is the, and, and he wants to combine and, and make a big difference between the, uh, for example, I remember the first time I was in uh, Guggen, Guggenheim, Bilbao, and, and was inside a wonderful exhibition of Matisse. Wow, the maestro. I can see these paintings because it was my first time in this museum. I have vertigo. I have a very, very physical, strong sensation with the building, inside, outside, with the elevator, with the star, with the corridors, like in a science fiction place. <gasps> What's so good? And when I, I go inside of the square uh, sala, the room, the big room, and what's Matisse? I, I can see, I can see. I say, well, well, what is this? <laughs> After to go many, many times to this museum, yes, I, I remember the, f the last time was a David Hockney exhibition. And was perfect because, in, in my opinion, the first day I say, I think this fantastic man, ¿cómo se llama el señor? El, el, el arquitecto. Frank Gehry is very good friend of uh, Sierra or Serra or... Richard Serra. Ri Richard Serra. Bueno, Ricardo Serra. Richard Serra. Richard Serra es Ricardo Serra, coño. Igual que todos los americanos dicen, vamos a Marina del Rey. O San Pedro en Freeway. Che, coño, es la autopista de San Pedro. Bueno, anyway. Eh, So I was thinking, wow, well, it's perfect for his friend Richard Serra. So it's, it's the only thing you can show in, in this kind of museum. And it's not true. After you understand and your body is more, you know, okay. And you go and see exhibition and, and there, there are some rooms really nice. In, in Holon, it's, it's like that, but is is very very easy to understand this is one part and this is another part maybe it's a big mistake and, maybe and, and, and it's Javier, not what good it, architecture what is your i opinion? don't know what but is your opinion working really good uh, uh listening to to mangado and, and to and to Ar and to ron um you are agree with the limits uh, among the different disciplines uh you think that there's It's better to have a global, holistic, open, completely without any kind of theor theoretical uh, prejudice, prejuicios teóricos para enfrentarte a, a las diferentes disciplinas. Uh, se puede caminar y ser versátil entre ellas sin ningún tipo de, de reglas o de decir, cuál es tú como, como dibujante y como diseñador. Because you said that you don't understand English and you understand perfectly English. So you could, ha you could listen to, to both of them. I understand your English because you have a so nice accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tamesis accent. But what is your, what is your uh, reaction to the question that I did before, to the to Ron drawings and also his um, peripatetic uh, and, and also coherent uh, a path from the 80s until now through the different kind of disciplines, experimenting with materials, with uh, shapes, with different way from the speakers made with concrete uh, to the Holon, to the Holon Museum. 
Well, I, I, I think mm, the society must do always thinking to run. All his work always is uh, sometimes make mistakes, of course, sometimes is great, sometimes is maybe is not very great, but uh, he, he, he gives to the society always a new version, new language. We are here because we have the same father, was a very old man in Africa, and they say, I want to go to the Northern Valley. The other people say, where you go? We are here, we are in a good valley. Don't go, don't go. It's a lot of dangerous lions. It's a lot of, we are the sons of these people, always looking new ways, always try to invent it, always, because all the time, the human people, we need change, we need it to invent it because we have a brain with a lot of connection, like the Las Estrellas de la Vía Láctea. We need it to develop in all this, and this is something we have inside too much. And gente como Rajoy o Aznar es un desastre porque estos van contra detrás. El señor este que era el alcalde de Madrid, ¿cómo se llama? El, Gallardón, por ejemplo, he's go to the back, está todo el rato echando freno de mano. Ya habíamos llegado a un mínimo de libertad de las señoras, las mujeres españolas que no tenían que ir a Londres para decidir si tenían un hijo, ¿no? Y ahora estamos otra vez para atrás. But what about what means that? What about wrong is is the the somebody always try to so you think it. that. Uh, you, what you are saying is that Ron is a visionary, and Ron goes beyond boundaries, and Ron, the only thing that is uh, his drive, yeah, I am translating. <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to hear Luis Fernández Galeano. Luis is a professor of architecture in, in, uh, in, in the Polytechnic of Madrid, also the director of Arquitectura Viva, um, also has been an advisor for all these years of the program of architecture here in Ivory Press uh, that we opened uh, this season in, in, in September. I would like to, your reaction to the questions of Magado, the, the, the answer of Ron, the, the remarks um, of uh, Mariscal, and if you can make a question to the three of them, I'm mainly focused in the, in the work of Ron. Thank you, Elena. I think the main consequence of this uh, table may be to make uh, Maris Kahl an architect, because he has shown he can be one. Today, in the time of icons, you only need the same kind of visual imagination. You had to create Kobe. So you could create works of architecture like Ron is doing. He's very proud that his museum in Tel Aviv has become the icon of the city. And he's shown that the image. So, this ability of uh, visual imagination to create icons and working with large teams that make uh, your dreams come true in the physical world has broken all the barriers between architecture and, and, and other creative uh, uh, disciplines. So um, what I'm sad to see is that uh, he said, no, I'm, I'm just a draftsman, you know, I'm, I'm no architect, I know nothing about architecture. And you have described architecture very well and with great uh, sensibility and, uh, and love. So my, my, my first thing is, please become an architect. Well, and I, make I'm, the icon that I work in now in, in a wonderful <laughs> project in Tokyo, in Yokohama. And it's a big uh, constructor. And we made the Mariscal Mediterranean, Mediterranean House. And they they try to sell in 300 a year, I don't know what. And, and it's easy, for me it's very easy because I, I'm, I'm, I don't know writing, but I know the volumes and, and I think many dyslexics, they are architects, they tell me. And, and it's easy because I work in like a una señora ama de casa, <laughs> with sentido común. I like it, housewife. 
before the Romans was no architects and they building wonderful houses. So, arquitectura es simplemente entender espacios y entender los problemas de convivencia. I try to understand, for example, how working the Japanese family and how the land they and how is the uh, ¿cómo se llama? the technology to building and well many 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 things and I asking and I go to many different houses asking to the people and after I make something and people they are very happy and what I like of Ron and and I feel brother is my brother is he try like me I think broken because I am so dyslexic and I remember when I was young the the teacher say this is architecture okay this is drawings this is erotic drawings this is painting this is gravure this is a uh, graphic design this is editorial graphic design this is uh, identity graphic design, this is design of furniture, this is industrial design. Oh, what were you talking about, you know? What are you talking about? Everything is the same, everything. And more and more, I am so happy right now. I remember in the 80s, everybody, especially in Barcelona, they insult me. ¿Cómo se llama? Insult me. ¿Cómo? Insult. Insult me. Hey, Mariscal, you are crazy. I go into the kiosk and I buy a cover of a comic. In the same time, I go in an exhibition and a very expensive painting. And also, you, you make a, a, a furniture with Moroso Italian company. What is this, please? Don't do that. Just uh, focus in one thing. But in the 90s, a new war appeared and was multidisciplinar. Wow, <laughs> I am multidisciplinar. And everybody, ah, Mariscal, you are multidisciplinar, okay. And also, what I feel so close to Ron is he, when he was very young, like everybody we are here, we say, this is an airplane, and we believe it, and say, but many people arrive 14 years old and they say, this is a pen, it's not anymore an airplane. Fucking people. And they go into the university and they go into the architecture university y les cortan tick, 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 play. No play anymore. We must to be serious people, okay? <laughs> We must to be universitarios, okay? We, we spend a long time when the brain is, is born in the one, two, three, six, seven, ten years old. And, and, and I see many uh, uh, English, Holland, French, and Catalan young people playing together and they don't speak the same language, but so quickly they understand and they play it. It's so sophisticated, this system, thinking in playing, playing, playing. Uh, Ingo Mauren, for example, he used a lot, play, play, the, in the humor. And also in the 80s, many people say, Mariscal, are you crazy? Please, you are very old. You are not anymore a little kid. Don't play anymore. Be serious. And now, something arrived also, and they call uh, pensamiento emocional, <laughs> emotional thinking, no? So and good. ya no insultan tanto. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but so. they he play a lot with, with this system, all the time, playing, playing. And Yo creo and que also, Mangado te quiere comentar algo. <laughs> también él sí. se coge y se tira por los acantilados. ¿Cómo se dice eso? Se tira she por... Go, uh, throw into the cliff. <laughs> No, but throw themselves into the cliff. But Elena, if you will allow me. Sí. I, of course, I was inviting Mariscal to become an architect, but he's already an architect and building as an architect. So I, I was, uh, say, uh, short in my, in, in my information. Um, of course, um, both of you draw 
every single second, but so does Pachi, so does Norman. You know, all of you draw. But there is a kind of um, break between the education that the architects have received and that you have also mentioned, in which uh, we are certainly uh, felt ill at ease with things like the ones you do or the ones you do. We, we feel ill at ease because uh, when, when you do architecture, because we have been taught in this uh, culture of rationality. And of course, uh, Ron is correct when he says, in Italy, all the big designers have been trained as architects. And then they walk away, they have a large industry, etc. But in our case, I think uh, it has to do with this preoccupation that uh, art is revolutionary and architecture is conservative, as Adolf Loos famously said. We have been trained with this, uh, uh, say, inbred conviction that architecture is conservative, that things have been trained, that you are going to use budgets of private or public nature, of very large budgets that you might, you know, use carefully, and uh, not just uh, play with grown-up uh, things. So I understand that the, the mood has changed, but at the same time, the economic mood has changed in the other in the other direction. And now you see that this is sculptural architecture. There are relationships with you have to all in, in terms of multidisciplinarity. I mean, for me, I mean, you have to define clearly this because multidisciplinary, I think that is very interesting and in fact, it's something is clear. I mean, it doesn't, it's, it's not uh, interesting to discuss about this. The interdisciplinarity is a fact. No one can, uh, deny this. But at the same time, I think in, this, in, this, in, the, in multidisciplinarity doesn't mean that there are some specific rules, and more than some specific as Luis is telling, some specific limits that for me are not limit. I mean, a budget, for instance, or just the, the structural way of thinking that is completely different if we are making a furniture. I mean, it's not as different, but the way of using the technology or the material is different because obviously here there are some structural thoughts, but also in the architecture, but of course the dimension, the scale, the techniques are completely different. So what I'm telling is that if finally we decide that everything is the same, I know that you are not defending this, mm -hmm. but at the end what happened is that there is a kind of similarity of uh, shapes at the end that are appearing in the market as a kind of continuity, that precisely, that is for me is the most important, they are avoiding the, 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 uh, the face with some specific problems, for instance in architecture, in sculpture, in art, in design, that precisely provide with a lot of interest to this specific, so in other words, multidisciplinarity in my opinion, could be absolutely drying in some, in, for one hand could be absolutely rich. I mean, I like to think in terms of economy, I like to, I'm keen on, on art, I'm keen on history, and I think that this is very rich. But at the end, if we confuse this with this kind of identity, then it could be very poor, because we are losing many of the specificities that are very rich in this discipline. So the question, I think that we have to, because there are a lot of slogans nowadays. Everybody, everybody say, no, multidisciplinarity, but at the end what I suspect is that behind this attitude, could be at the same time a kind of, a, a lack of deepness in Nietzsche. So do you understand what I, what I mean? But we're not, we're not um, anything against people that are focused on their profession and they are not multidisciplinary and they are doing exactly what, what you are advocating here. The only difference is that I'm saying, yes, that's one way of doing things and I have a lot of respect for it. Uh, but um, it's all good, you know, it's, it's amazing. We, we rely on people that are focused, like doctors that are focused, scientists that are focused. But all we're saying is there's room for something else. And there's, uh, there's different results. And there's, you know, we are pluralists. And, uh, I, all, all I'm saying is there's, there's room for the most uh, one-track-minded, one whatever, great results you know, from people that concentrate on one thing all their life. 
We don't want to stop them. Please go on. But we also want the freedom to, we don't even demand the freedom, we take it, we get it. We're not, you know, we just, we do it. And uh, what, the only question is, why does it upset you so much? <laughs> no, no, but at the end, at the end, what I mean is, for instance, uh, Javier has said, everything is the same. I don't believe that everything is the same. No, I mean, I know, I know, I know. No, 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 no. I understand you, and I, he's, he's a, I understand he's a cartoonist perfectly. No, all, I understand so. perfectly that you don't want to mean that everything is the same. But I say something that I have taken probably in a in a very uh, very unpolite way or no very. But I mean, in fact, there are a lot of people that consider that everything is the same in relationship with the graphic design, yes, uh, sculpture, yes, uh, uh, industrial design, yes. And I don't, being sincere, I think that there are a lot of common uh, issues, obviously. I mean, we are, at the end, we are working with shapes. But there are also important differences that for me are not limited, are not limiting, are not, are fantastic, these differences. At some time, this doesn't mean that we are limiting the freedom. We, we, it seems that there is, is, is a similarity in between, between freedom and this kind of, uh, of, of identifying any activities. I don't have this, this, this necessity, I don't have this feeling. I mean, I feel when I, I see this, this uh, exhibition, or when I, I appreciate a lot. I'm very, I think that there are a lot of architectonical ideas that could be useful for me, but at the end, I recognize that if I renounce, because in my lectures always I, I, I try to speak five minutes about this concept, or, or concept of multidisciplinarity, because I think that at the moment, this concept, very well used, is spoiling a lot, in, in this case, for instance, the architect yeah, students. Every time that a designer, an because, artist, uh, sorry, an artist no. or an architect takes a pen and draws, is modifying the but the, the problem space, is, and is designing. Yeah, but the problem and is that there are, there are a lot of architects and students of architecture, we have to be sincere, that they make architecture as they were doing graphic design. And this is completely different. That's the problem. And we are suffering, in my opinion, now in architecture. That this, this problem that we have, yes, a sheet commercial architecture, or yes, an architecture that could be made, yes, by a designer, or yes, by my son that is a is, is lawyer. So the question is that uh, we are creating in some way, we are supporting, because when you defend, uh, when you defend this with this wonderful, or, you, or, or with, with your wonderful work, that is very easy. But the problem is that we are translating something that is not, not, is not, is not serious, in my, no, it's not clear, in my opinion. You can see thousands and thousands and thousands of architects, young architects and students of architecture, making buildings that are just drawing, without taking into account the site, without taking into account the materials, without taking into account the space, without taking into account the, the economical. Uh, at the end, it's a disaster. What are you saying? There's some bad architecture. I couldn't agree more. No, no, there I know that is bad architecture. I know, but, but, some very good but the question, Ron, the question is that if we defend this, this uh, principle that interdisciplinarity, that everything is the same, at the end what happened is that we are, uh, we are encouraging this bad but, architecture. But no one, because this no is one suggests that everything is the same. architecture, in my opinion, as the architecture that is uh, along the beach in Spain that has destroyed it. So, uh, is, is what I'm telling. And is a false, in my opinion, is a false uh, concept of freedom, because I, I, I subscribe the idea of freedom. I subscribe the idea of overpassing. I subscribe the idea of reinventing, very, of investigating. Very difficult to believe after what you say that you subscribe the idea and, of freedom. I know, and when you are speaking about this freedom, it's, it's, a, it's a little false, because you are using the materials, you are going to the factories in order to know how they can work, you are making the most of the new techniques, you are depending and thinking in all of these things. Of so course. it's a freedom that is true, but that this is depending on some rules at the end. Of course. <laughs> okay, okay. And That's also, perfect. And, and but, also, you're working with a team. You're working with a team, exactly. Because architecture, like design, is Absolutely. very, very difficult to work alone. Exactly. Because everybody, especially me, I am no arm, I am only one arm, and I am only one leg. So I need other ones, Absolutely. especially I need it. And I have very good friends. They are very, very, very specialized. For example, 
I have a good friend. He only designed letters, typography. And if I was him, I, I, I suicide me, kill me like 2,000 times. <laughs> because I, I needed change, multidisciplinary. Font police. Yeah. But I understand very well, you like teacher, uh, well, your sample is terrific, but they, they, they are, uh, if I, I am teacher, I never give uh, only one or two, no, no ten, to somebody really don't understand the materials and don't understand technology and don't understand, well, what is architecture and design? We have the, the same, something very common. We must to resolve problems. And before, always the journalists ask me, um, la inspiración, the inspiration, where is the inspiration? Fucking you, man, there are no inspiration. We have limits, a strong limit. Why Barcelona is nice for architecture? Because we have one river, another river, the big mountain and the sea, and a diagonal, and this is the space. There are no more space. We we needed the limits. Mariscal, when you are a spirit, please uh, design me a chair. Fucking you, man. I can't. What, 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 what mean this? We needed limits, and we needed to understand what is the problem. In, in, the, in the case of Holland, Munsell, he understand, he tried to, to understand what is the problem and resolve like that. But all the time, resolved with new solutions and also uh, invented a new new system to, to resolve. But he tried to resolve the problem of the museo and the identity of this. And I think all the work uh, uh, Ron made it always mm, in the beginning is how can I resolve this problem but no like everybody, with a new way, with chicken, una vuelta más de tuerca, no? I, 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 the first exhibition that we did... You can listen outside, yeah. The first exhibition that we did here in Ivory Press for, was the work of Norman Foster. Uh, I, for obvious reasons, I know very well and very intimacy the, st the studio of Norman Foster, where engineers, designers, mathematicians, uh, and people from all kinds of disciplines work together to build buildings. And one of the buildings who has been uh, recognized as the, one of the key work in the process of your career has been the Reichstag, that you work intimately with one of your partners, David Nelson, who is a designer. He has not a background as, as architect, he's a designer. So I would like to ask you, um, what is your opinion um, about all the ideas that have been this morning in the table, and mainly that you pose a, a question to Ron uh, and his quest, constantly quest since the 80s and I imagine before for, for freedom and curiosity and something that I see a great similarity with you, which is the not be satisfied with the limits and always uh, experimenting with materials and with shapes? Um, really some observations. I think that um, Ron is in quite a long-standing tradition of architects or individuals who start off from an architectural background and, um, and include architecture, go beyond architecture. I mean, Mangiarotti and Morissuti. Mangiarotti and Morissuti designed some of the most beautiful precast factories in the 60s. Um, but Mangiarotti is probably, his legacy is probably, his extraordinary uh, stone furniture uh, with a very personal language. Jacobson, probably, arguably, is more well known for his lamps uh, and his furniture than he is for his buildings, although there's a seamless connection. 
um, Charles and Ray Eames, an obvious uh, example. Um, I think that, that there are certain things that weave through the conversation. I think there is, um, first of all, I think that Ron has to um, be as rigorous in terms of handling the technology, the budgets. I think that he um, has a very effective persona in terms of projecting um, uh, a more casual, whimsical demeanor, whether that's through his sketches, his manner, his dress. The reality is that if he doesn't get the building together and it falls down, or he doesn't get it together um, reasonably on time and on budget, people are not going to come back to him for another building. So the reality is also that when you see the chairs, the objects, they are rigorously crafted. And the conversation that we were having over dinner yesterday when we were talking about, you know, you were showing me images of glass blowers in Turkey. Um, you're totally rooted in the means of production. But I think that the other thread, the other, um, uh, how can I say, thought that you um, are very eloquent on, and, and I think touches a very important point, is that, um, is that somehow through the teaching tradition or the um, attention-getting aspects of the media, there is a cult, and I think a very dangerous cult, of losing the urbanism uh, that has served society so well in the past, where 90% of the buildings have been honest, um, traditional, in the best sense of the word, making spaces, making public spaces, making elegant streets, which enable that smaller percentage of major buildings, if you like, to be sculptures in their own right. And in the end, you can't make a city out of individual statements. The city is, in the end, more about the infrastructure of public spaces, which enable the celebration um, interspersed into that. But it's like having a meal which is composed completely of caviar, foie gras, cream. Um, it would be indigestible. And that is, I think that we're seeing that in the suburbs that spread out from the traditional cores of the city, where there are no spaces, where, um, because there's no comprehensive thinking. So it's, um, it's the individual building, usually surrounded by a sea of cars. So I think the, 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 the technology, which has, in a way, served us so well, is so short-lived, the automobile. Um, and I think that the automobile-driven city, with its lack of physical infrastructure, its lack of physical spaces, its absence of being a pedestrian-friendly experience. So I think that it's, it, it, it's a very, very interesting point in, in time. And I don't really um, have any of the answers. It's more a series of observations, because I think that the themes that weave through your conversation are themes that um, are, are quite deeply rooted questions in terms of you know, how do we, when we create new cities now, and the rate of urbanization out there, beyond our comfortable European base here, where we see very little in the way of change, we're seeing explosive changes in the Pacific Rim countries. Um, you know, we're already questioning the, uh, the cost of energy. Um, but the big challenge is that out there, one third of humanity has no access to energy as we know it, no access yeah, to clean water. These are big, big You are talking big more issues. about the urbanization and the resources. Yes, I'm, I'm, but, 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 but in a way, I think that, that, that a lot of your questioning 
is fundamental in that sense because it's saying, in a way, we can, we, we can all create the individual celebratory building. And they're like islands, in a way. But, but these occasional oases, and what about the bigger picture? Um, and, and how is the education? I mean, in, in a way, the only hope for humanity is, is, is a bigger grasp of interdisciplinary thinking. That Manny Scal was yes. talking about. Yes, yes. And um, also, the, I would like to know what you think here. No, I love Mariscal's observations. I thought that they, you know, they're very profound, although he delivers them in a way that is wonderfully humorous. Yeah, but, uh, I've said too much already. <laughs> here, here in this audience, there are several artists, uh, international artists, Spanish, some of them, uh, that they are working with architects and designers uh, to integrate uh, some of their work inside the buildings. I put an example, for instance, Cristina Iglesias is making intervention in the city of Toledo and also is making intervention in buildings. We have the doors of the Museo del Prado as a sample here in Madrid, and we will see another all over the world of his work, of her work. I would like to know if you run in your, uh, in your studio, in your wonderful studio, which is a constant, uh, is, a, is, a, is, a, is one of the most energetic spaces I have ever visited. Um, you work with artists, you work with another disciplines when you develop uh, your designs, your, your, your buildings, or... Um, I'm, I'm trying to think of examples. Yeah. The answer is not really. Although recently I, was, I did two projects that were by definition collaborative. Like one was a uh, curtain call where I invited lots of artists' friends to claim it. Uh, it's a very, I can, shall I show it? We have yeah, time? Yes. Right. Uh, the, the work I, I, I mentioned is, is uh, I, I played with the idea of, of projecting, um, of projecting on, on a silicon curtain, uh, an image that you can see from both sides. And then I did uh, in, in the roundhouse in London, uh, an installation, uh, I did a, eight meter tall and 20 meters diameter curtain that uh, I wanted to allow people to go through the image, uh, to be inside and to be outside. And I don't know what we see here. 12 projectors. Uh, there's 12 seamless projectors. And uh, I mean, the technical uh, team was absolutely amazing. And I could play with it myself, but I thought, this is too good. And then I started calling my friends and asked, do you want to do a piece of work for it? And it was, it became like this piece of design, architect, whatever you call it. Artistic. Something, this, this, this curtain just became like a festival of its own. This is Christian Markley's piece. He did uh, a huge piano and, uh, I mean, this is getting long. So it's, I mean, that is the structure in the, in, the, in the building. That's Christian's work. Mariscal did fantastic work for it. Uh, so you collaborate with different artists uh, yeah. to create an installation inside a building. Yeah. Um, what is this? And then we invited like the London Contemporary Orchestra. The London Contemporary Orchestra uh, did a performance specially designed and we had uh, we had a circus performing there, and we did all the visuals to go to go with the circus, a very chamber circus. And and uh, Stephen Isselis, the cellist, played Bach on it, and and the notes went from the ceiling to the floor. We have to know that Ron is a great musician also. He wanted I'm to be a I'm not a great musician, that's a lie. You, play, you will play later. <laughs> so? And, hang on, uh, this is, uh, there were live performances, but this is in a different place. Uh, I'll show you the different place. This is 
This was conceived at the Roundhouse indoors, and then it uh, moved to the Naguchi Sculpture Garden in the Israel Museum in Jerusalem. And it was a totally different experience. It was an outdoor piece, and that could only work at night when the sun goes down. This is uh, one week in two minutes, building it. We had to know all the rules of structure and stuff like that. Um, so this is this this work is is collaborative. I mean, from the start, and now it's going to to Rio, and it will include some Brazilian. Art. It will accumulate different artists, different the, artists, the and we'll have some that will carry. How is called? Has a name? In the round, as it was called, curtain call, and in Jerusalem, it was called 720 degrees because there's 360 degrees inside and three outside. Um, and the, again, this is this is this started the way it started. Is the director of the Roundhouse asked me, "Do you want to do an installation here in August?" And I said to him, "Yeah," jokingly, and said, "Let's make something really big, round. We'll have images on it, and we'll allow people to walk through the images." And he said to me, "That sounds good." At the time I made this joke, I had no idea how we're going to make it, what's going to happen. But here it is, so that was the sketch, if you want, this stupid sentence. Uh, you can see videos here of the installation in Venice where I uh, did a machine with a cast of my hand and a diamond ring, and it draws, it scratches uh, drawings on glass. There's one sort of sketch of mine there, but you can see the, the videos where uh, some people that participated here and some others uh, we developed an app on Ooh, Mariscal. Last train app. Do you want to do a drawing? We're going to see this work as the last yeah. one. <coughs> it's already 1.30. We are here right. one hour and a half. And I would like uh, to see this. And if anybody in the audience <coughs> wish to, to pose a question. Hello. Am I right that by logical <coughs> conclusion, by logical conclusion of your argument, that Ron should not be showing here because essentially <coughs> Elena has an art gallery and therefore <coughs> because uh, he, art should be shown in art galleries, architecture should be shown in architectural galleries, we sh she should not be having an interdisciplinary show here. <coughs> The, the Soviet in fact, I think that the Soviet of this, this table has been the, uh, I think that in the deep of the, the Soviet is this question of relationship in between the different arts. So, uh, I mean, here have been many, a lot of exhibitions, precisely the last exhibition that I remember, many fantastic exhibitions of architects also. <laughs> Uh, so I think that is, is, is very convenient, yes, the, the discussion about this in, this in this gallery. I think that is very, I repeat, I think that there are a lot of common things. Uh, obviously, always, through the history, architect has designed, has been in close relationship with the art, has been, obviously, we have common uh, foundations, but at the same time, the only thing that I wanted to express is that precisely uh, in the differences as are also the richness, and that nowadays, if we try to, de to, to defend or to support the lack of differences, what, they, what, we are, what we are getting at the end is that the, the kind of, of, kind of, of uh, empowering, uh, of, of uh, uh, making the different disciplines or the different uh, activities uh, much power, in my opinion. So that's the question. But I think that, and obviously, uh, I think that the, the point that uh, uh, Norma has underrun, I think, is extremely important. The question of the city, that at the end is the question of architecture. So there are some kind of decisions. I agree, then what happens is that these differences is much higher. 
No, but I think that this uh, side, as in particular this gallery, for discussing this, for me is fantastic. This is this kind of, I always, uh, I repeat, this kind of drawings, this kind of activities is very, very inspiring, at least for me. But what I, at the same time, I have clear which are my limits, because from my limits are coming my strength. It, it is clear that some of us architects feel ill at ease with uh, Ronald's work. It's clear. Apache said it, and uh, Norman did not say it, but let it imply it in his defense of uh, uh, infrastructure, background buildings, sort of the con conventional city. I only wanted to finish with a message to architects. We need a few Arabs, Mariscals, but we need many more traditional architects that can deal with everyday affairs and with this uh, uh, background buildings that make our, um, our lives. So agreeing that uh, some artists can create icons, and this is something that must be respected, I do not think that they should be role models. So I respect them as architects, but they couldn't propose them to my students as role models because I think we need ma many more of the, other, of the other brand of architecture, which is based. All I need to know, can I continue doing architecture or should I stop? No, no, you can continue, <laughs> but we are not going to offer you as a model. Everybody, because everybody wants a lot of wrong architecture through the world, through around the world. And, huh? Yeah, of course. No, what, what, what I simply wanted to say is that the optical construction budgets all of those things, you know, can be taught simply and, can, and we can produce many architects and engineers that can produce everyday things. And, uh, of course, there will be some that produce icons and that have this emotional intelligence, as Mariscal said, to connect with the perception of others and become icons for cities. But to me, at least, Tel Aviv will still be you know, the white city of Mendelssohn and others, rather than your recent icon of, of uh, the chocolate spaghetti. Thank you very much to everybody, but I would like to, to thank, from the bottom of my heart, uh, to Ron Allen, because bring to us, since we began to develop this project, an amazing feedback. team here. No, I mean. a constant feedback, intellectual th uh, feedback, new ways to see, design, art, and architecture. We learn a lot from you, and I do hope, and I don't have any doubt that any visitor here will learn a lot too, and how to combine the different worlds um, and approaches to the space and to reality through your work and the a small sample that you decide to exhibit here. So thank you thank very you. much. Thank you, and it was a great pleasure working with you and your team. They're amazing, uh, amazing, amazing way to do a show. Thank you. And, we, I, I, and, and I, I, we, I think very few we visit this museum, but we will go and, and visit it for sure. I think no one to say something. I, I, just, I just wanted, sort of, on behalf of the audience, as it were, to say, you know, a great lineup. I'm, it's rare to get four wonderfully Three. disparate. Oh, okay. I'm, go, I'm, going, I'm going to make it four, not because you're my wife, but I would like to say that I think that your ability to host museum quality shows that go across from, you know, Ron's wonderful work to Buckminster Fuller to artists, contemporary artists across all the divides, I think is, you know. And the is, most interesting is, thing is, is to have all of you here and be able to discuss here in this table different ways to see. We can discuss on this table, on the ping pong table. On the ping pong table. The good, the good thing about the ping that, pong table is a winner and a loser. You know the only thing we miss here? A video of Norman and Ron in New York several years ago playing ping pong in this table. That I think I'm going to look for it and incorporate it. I want it. to see it. Huh? Who won? I don't remember. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>